Hello everybody and welcome back to Survival Challenge. So before we move on to the next month, which we're supposed to do at the beginning of the next episode, of, of every episode, um, we are just going to quickly drill this field here with grass because it just makes perfect sense to get this in um, because otherwise we're going to be basically wasting a day's worth of growth. Yeah, make sure I change that to grass first, otherwise that would be embarrassing. There we go. Right. So needs to be grass because the rest of the field is going to be grass if it already is grass uh, we are fertilizing it at the same time oh I'm not too sure if we're gonna to have to cultivate though because we do actually have some weeds unkillable weeds which run up the center crack that's laggy now better yet I lost connection and the tractor drove itself into the greenhouse so <laughs> yes we've started the episode with a bit of demolition not planned yeah, as I was saying, we do have some weeds. Uh, there is a chance that they will have to be actually cultivated out. The drill won't necessarily be able to pull them out, but we'll see. Let's just see how well this goes. Yep, it's yeah, it's leaving them. So actually, I should really do that first. Pop the drill there, and we will just pull these out. It really is just, well, unless I miss some, which I have done. One pass down here. There we go. Sometimes you have to make something look worse before it looks better. Okay. Um, a bit there. Which I still missed. Perfect. Okay. So let's get this whole field drilled. And yeah, then we can move on to the next day and the next job. Now I guess I should tidy this up a bit as well. Okay, there we go. So I think with that done, we can move on because, yeah, rolling. Oh, do we need to roll? Maybe we do need to roll. Yeah, it needs rolling. And then we can move on to the next day. Um, and the grass is going to be cut for silage. We're going to be making silage. Probably not the best idea to cut it prior to. Um, where should I put this? Uh, maybe, <laughs> make you dizzy. Uh, yeah, I'll put it over here. Probably not best to cut it before we move on to the next day because it is next, it's actually the next month and the grass might grow significantly and then it will cover up the grass that we've already cut and make it very difficult to see. Uh, okay, oh, also there's rain coming, so really not a good idea to cut it first. Uh, but having said that, we can get the tractor attached to the mower And the next month is actually going to be super busy because we have the canola over there and that I think is going to be ready. Uh, it would have been so nice to get the oil factory, but sadly we don't have the money. We need £80,000 to be able to do that. Uh, we do still have a small tractor, though, but yeah, this one here. How did I not see that? I stood right next to it. Uh, I'll put the stump grinder on and I'll just remove that stump. There is one, I think, underneath chainsaw, actually. I'm guessing it is still there. Yeah. So we will remove it. Because it will just become a pain. Because uh, it will actually end up in the grass. And we won't be able to see it. And then we'll keep getting stuck on it. So it is best that it disappears. And we can probably uh, tidy this border up a bit as well. Oh, we're doing a wheelie. Well, that was fast. Any more? I'm not too sure. There might be one over here. Nope. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we'll just tidy up a bit with the brush, the landscaping tool. Being extra careful, of course, because we do not have free landscaping. So 
we'll just do what we need to do. Okay, we should probably do that. It is quite expensive. And then... Yeah, we don't... It's kind of a shame that we didn't cultivate that in the first place. Maybe I should have just gone through there with the cultivator. Um, okay, not to worry. Well, that is tidier. That's better than it was. So, yeah, just neatening up the edges, really. Uh, we could do this uh, th this weed in the, uh, the rock here, but it is probably an unnecessary expense. So I think we'll hold off doing that. But yeah, that's good. Just makes it look a bit more complete and tidy. So, wait for chainsaw to finish and we'll move on. Just tidy these attachments up as we wait. That one was upside down in the middle of the yard. And there's the rain. Okay, so yes, we are moving on to the next day. Hopefully the rain will clear away. Looks like it's going to be an overcast day. And then we'll mow. Well, we're into the new day now, so it's not going to grow anymore until the next day. So we shall mow if I lower it. <laughs> yeah, it always helps. Always helps if you lower it. And that is fast. Well, that's good. And to think, oh no, there's another stump. To think that, um, yeah, at the beginning of the series, this was a dense forest. And it was a shame, but we have bought, brought this land back into production. Um, yeah, because we're going to keep getting a cut of grass off it. Oh no! Go away, rain! Now, rain won't actually affect the grass, so we can keep going with this. Obviously, in real life, it would be a big problem, uh, but in this game, yeah, it's not like when you're combining it, it says that it will impact the yield. And here is the sunshine. Lovely. That's better. Much better. Although it's still raining a bit. Go away, rain. <laughs> it says that the current weather is sun. Well, it's pretty much gone. So, obviously in the future, it's going to be almost twice this size because of the new area that we've just drilled huge grass field. Well, huge-ish. Um, but for now we're going to get this, and that's still going to be good. We'll be able to get silage off it, and the silage bills are worth quite a bit, so it's just going to be a nice cash injection in the future. Just another way of making money. Chainsaw is already rowing, and then we can go in with the baler, and we can uh, start to produce grass bells, and then probably Chainsaw will have the job of doing the wrapping. Of course, our baler is very small, so it's only producing three and a half thousand litres uh, of, of grass per bale. But, yeah, it's a small area. Soon we should have the money to be able to upgrade. So, yeah, short term, this is a, a good solution. It works. <laughs> but, yeah, we've got quite a few to wrap and load. So, I think whilst Chainsaw is wrapping, I will prepare a trailer. He might be able to put some of them directly onto the trailer. Others I might have to pick up with a bale spike or a pallet fork. Uh, whatever we have available but let's just see if we can get one more bale hopefully we can do or 
or is it going to be super close? Yes, it's going to be super close. Still, yeah, the next fill we do, we'll be able to get that bale out. Sadly, we did get left with a straw bale, but it still has a retail value. So we've got the flatbed trailer over there. We likely won't be using the uh, windrow again before the baler. So, actually the same with the mower. So we'll just put this into here. Should be fine there. Uh, pallet for... Oh, we do have a burst bike. Nice. There we go. Yeah, so as I said, Chainsaw should be able to put some directly onto the trailer if he wants to. He doesn't have to. I can pick them up. Although I'm not great either. <laughs> uh, well, Chainsaw's good at it. It's just with that machine, it's not the easiest. I'll get that straw bale put onto the trailer. Okay, there we go. Five thousand liters. Actually, I could just go and sell it because I've got nothing else to really do there yet. If Chenser is going to load, yeah, he is. So let's just go and get rid of this bale. See what we can make from it. Uh, there we go. The canola field is ready. Amazing. Absolutely. Let's not drive in it. Absolutely amazing. And that is a big field. That took us a long time to drill. Uh, it should be easier next time because we've got two bigger tractors, but we do need bigger drills as well. The bale of sale point is this shed here. So yeah, don't expect miracles. You never know, we might get a thousand pounds if we're very lucky, I don't know. Maybe eight hundred. Okay. <laughs> well, it could have been worse. What was that? 359. Yeah, it could have been much worse. Well, it looks like Chainsaw doesn't need me at the moment. So I will leave him with the bale spike if he needs it, and I will get this taken over to that field over there, and I think we'll start harvesting. We actually do have canola in the trailer already. Uh, there is a possibility that we're going to be building a grain silo today, because we do want to be selling when the price is at their best, and I don't think this is the best month for canola. Uh, it's not terrible, but yeah, we're, we're sort of down here. Oh no! It's still driving on its own. What's it doing? <laughs> what is it doing? Oh, I hate it when it does that. Okay, well, um, there we go. We have made a tram line. Yeah, so hopefully we can maximise profits by storing this until the best time. Because we can get at least £100 extra per 1,000 litres. Doesn't sound like much, but... Yeah, there's going to be many thousands of litres off this. And, yeah, you know, it might be uh, £200 extra. But this is going to be a mammoth job, so I'm just going to start. Do the headlands. And I am pleased that it is canola, because if it wasn't, the combine would fill up super quickly. No straw either from this. I don't think we have the mod installed. No, we don't. So no straw. Uh, hopefully we can make it a full lap without getting full, but who knows. It does look to be still filling up quite quickly. So, yeah, it's good.
Okay, so we have got a full trailer, or mostly full trailer. This just seems like a really good place to put the silo, because it's close to the cell point. I think it's on our land, I hope it is. Yeah. Yeah, well within our land, actually. We're going all the way down there, wow. Uh, that was a bit of a waste, actually, because we can't really do much with it. But yeah, it just makes sense to, to get this, to, to build it here. And um, yeah, then we can store the grain until the price is really good. So hopefully when I make my next lap, at the end of the next lap, we'll have uh, a silo over there. So I'll set off now and we'll see if it's appeared by the time we get over there. I think three laps of the headland is about right. Okay, so Chainsaw just needs to remove the stumps first uh, and then he can build it. We do actually need diesel, so we'll probably head off and get some diesel. The combine's getting quite low. I'm not too sure what the future holds for this combine. We might change it at some point soon. I really don't know. Um, but having said that, we do have at least all this field and probably all that field to do as well. So we want to put in maybe half to three quarters of a tank, maybe a full tank, but I suppose it depends how big the tank is and how much it's going to cost us. So let's just unload what we can do into the trailer. It won't be long until the uh, silo is ready. The trailer is basically full, but I'm sure we'll be able to put something into it. Yeah, we can put something into it. Um, so I think diesel is just, yeah, it's just down there. Let's tag it. We could sell what's in there, but I don't think we will do. We are literally just going for diesel. Yeah, it's right next to this shop. So we're refueling. Oh, it's going really fast, not costing too much. We'll put a full tank in. I think it does get through it quite quickly. These combines do tend to drink the fuel. So yeah, just 213 pounds. Not really that much. Really. Let's get back to the field. Hopefully we can unload. Brilliant. Okay. So there we go. Hopefully Chintor is going to be uh, going alongside. Yep. <laughs> yes, it's, what we've done already is fairly insignificant. It would be great to stick this on a worker. I don't think either of us really fancy going up and down with this. But there we go, that is empty. So I think I will, I'll just try it. I'll just set it off and see how well it does. Because we've done three laps, that should be enough, but I suppose with this worker system, four is probably a bit better for it. I suppose in a way it's a shame that we don't have straw. There we go. Chainsaw might want to take over. So, that's regrowing. Uh, has it been fertilised? Did he get fertilised? Have I gone past the thing? Oh no, of course, we were on uh, precision farming. Uh, it looks like it will take something, doesn't it? I, I think it... Because it is grass, but it should still take something. So we have... Well, we have the sprayer, actually. Maybe the sprayer is the way to go. Let's just see. No, we've got we've got lime there. No, my bag is my bag went in the river. What's it playing at? Well, we've just lost a very very small amount of lime. Uh, thankfully, <laughs> that would have cost us next to nothing. Lime is cheap, and there was nearly nothing there anyway. But good grief! Come on, game. Don't just <laughs> like I know it was me that initiated the unload, but don't unload it into the river. We've got all of this space to go out, and you put it in the river. Ah, oh dear. Okay, let's put these bags in. I'll make sure we don't put the fertilizer in the river. Goodness me. Right. So we have our bags. They were all partially filled, I reckon. Um, yeah, let's just see exactly what it thinks it is going to take. It's good. It, it's okay, actually. It's okay. It's not even good. It will take a bit. It needs to be done. Ah, looks like that area needs to be done as well. I did have fertilizer switched on. 
Yeah, looking at the minimap, I'm not sure we do need to do that area. Okay, well, we'll see. Possibly, if it's a different saw type. But that is fast, really fast. As for the area there which got cultivated, I'm not too sure yet what it's going to be. Maybe a yard extension, maybe it's going to be grass. Uh, we have yet to decide what that is going to be used for. Looks like the worker has managed that though. It's just a job that needs to be done in the background really. Unless Chainsaw has taken over things, there's not that many jobs to do. Okay. Yeah, so we'll switch the uh, spreader on. It will only actually apply if it needs to apply. So nothing's going to be wasted here. It is applying. Oh, no, it's not. It's not applying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah, obviously that was just because it was uh, spreading the other area. So it just applied anyway. So there we go. Yeah, chainsaw's carting. So I guess that field there is the one we need to focus on. I'm just wondering what we could actually do. If we could afford a um, mulcher, we could mulch it. But it comes down to cost again, because we don't want to just be spending money we don't have. And it doesn't want to be tiny, because they're painful to use. 16,000, yeah, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. You know, I might get that. Let's just see the other alternatives. Is this thing still spreading? Nothing was coming out, I don't think. Um, yeah, because <laughs> like, it's nice, but it would take us a long time. 21,000 for that. Yeah, makes perfect sense to go with this. That's a great buy. We will mulch that field. I seem to remember it's about 5% extra you get. It's not much. But we will set sail to the store and we'll go and get it. Okay, so Chainsaw tells me that the John Deere mower is also a mulcher. I thought it was just a, a topper, but it will mulch. Um, I guess that's what a mulcher is though, isn't it? It is just topping the stubble to, to work it in. So um, yeah, we'll, um, we'll keep this going for a bit. And I don't know if Chainsaw is going to get the John Deere one as well. We can have both going. I suppose he's quite busy doing the carting, but I'm happy with this one.
Okay, so we have pretty much finished this corner over here, which will give us plenty of space to start drilling in the next episode. And of course, yeah, the rest of the field is going to be harvested and mulched. So we are actually going to be maximizing yield in every possible way, I reckon. We'll be fully fertilizing, we'll have the correct amount of lime, herbicide will be applied, fertilizer will be applied, and we'll have mulched the previous crop to give us that small increase in yield next time. So, this doesn't really need to go anywhere, because we're going to continue using it next time. Uh, we'll just pop it over here. And it's been good. We have got quite a bit of canola in storage now. There we go, it should be right just there. So, 22,000 litres so far. And we've done maybe, maybe half, maybe not quite half. Uh, you can usually tell by looking at this. So yeah, probably, probably just about half. Yeah, of course, Tree Island will be disappearing eventually, uh, but not just yet. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.